Alright, hey guys. You're probably thinking, why am I sitting in the car doing a video? Well, well, I'm going to give you guys a bit of different scenery. But, because I'm about to do a fucking angry video again. But this time about Infinite Warfare. And, um... Sorry, I was just scratching my leg for a second. Still sick as... As usual, maybe I'm a bit angry about my sick, but this game fucking sucks. And when I saw the trailer, I just knew this game was going to be fucking shit. Like, what the fuck have you done, Call of Duty? You're not, you're not even making Call of Duty games anymore. You're making some shit like fucking Halo. This is supposed to be like... Call of Duty back in the day was everyone's favourite shooter because it was like... It was, like, kind of realistic of it, you know? Like, you had, like, um, real guns. You had boots on the ground. There wasn't too much complicated shit. You had your gun. You could... You got your map. And, you know, you just go around shooting people. And in the original Black Ops, it would be real basic. Like, you can only choose one attachment for your gun. And that was when everyone was loving Call of Duty. It's most was when it was grounded. It was basic. And it was um, just... It, was, it wasn't so convoluted like it is now. And just the way Infinite Warfare works, is it's so fucking shit. And I fucking hate it. You've got bigger maps in this game. But your jumping around system it doesn't work good. Because, right, if you play Black Ops 3, it kind of feels like you're, you, you're using your boosters, but you don't have Afterburner. And with a bigger maps, what you've got now, you kind of need more boosters. You kind of need your Afterburner so you can... Move around more fluently. Is that a word? I don't know. But move around more fluently, I mean. Um, so, the first off, this whole... They're saying, like, oh, we've got a smooth, like, jumping around system like the um, Black Ops 3. We're continuing that in this game. No, it's not. It's worse. I I liked Black Ops 3 a bit more. Um, because the their, their booster systems were more better, and their guns were more better, and the kill time is a lot more better. And, and what I'm saying here is that you die way too fucking fast in this game. It doesn't give you a chance to have a proper gunfight. I like having gun battles with someone. The person who's got the better aim, the better precision, will beat the other player. And this game, you just die too fast. And, and I just found myself always getting shot in the back. Like, and that was how I was dying. I wasn't dying, f um, like, face-to-face -face gun battles, because there's just, the maps are so, like, like, just so crazy and big. Like, there's big maps in, um, Black Ops 3, but, um, it was easier to navigate around and move, because you had your, your booster systems, and you had a lot of that, and I could do a lot of a wall running, and, like, if you're on the, the map Redwood, you can run on the trees, so, I want to tell you all now what I fucking hate about it. It's the fucking guns. The guns are fucking bullshit. You've got these blaster guns, like, shoots energy or some shit. That's not fucking Star Wars. That's not Call of Duty. And now they're taking it into space, and when you kill someone, their body floats around all dead, like... And if I, if I kill one dude, and then a dude's behind him, that dead body's floating in front of me, so I can't even see the other guy... I can't even see the other guy to shoot him. Then I fucking die. These maps are fucking shit, man. They are. They're either too small, or... Yeah, they're too small to do any kill streaks or anything. Like, I can do kill streaks on Nuketown, because um, I've played that map a lot, but the, the maps on this, like, there's this one in space, and it's really small, but there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of corners you can flank, and a, a small map with flanks, it's going to be impossible for anyone to have kill streaks, and that that's just going to piss off a lot of players. And either the maps are too big, and and when you got a too big map and you don't have proper boosters, like you're just going to be moving around real slow, and that gives players time to. Because once they see your loot, like if if you're going to play Infinite Warfare, play with suppressor on. You got to because if you kill someone, your red dot's going to show up on the map, and then they're going to come to you, and you and you don't have enough boosters to get out of there in time. You know, they're going to shoot you in the back, you know? Because that's what I do. I like to kill two, one or two players in a certain area, then leave, and then go to a new area, kill a couple of players and leave. 
you know, just navigate around the map a bit, you know. But in this game, I'd find myself killing someone in the one spot and then trying to leave and then I'd get shot in the back. And, um, you know, that's fucking shit. The maps are fucking shit. The booster systems are shit. Um, I wish I never got the fucking IW beta. It's fucking bullshit. And I can't have proper gun battles, you know, like, I, I found myself doing this a lot, right? I I'd get the first shots in, clear first few shots, and I'd be shooting high on the chest, but still people... Then someone sh um and then they got then they shoot me back right. I've already got the first few shots in, and they kill me. Like I don't get that. I thought the kill time was meant to be faster, but when I shoot them first and I and my reaction time is faster, they can still like turn around and kill me real fast. I don't understand that. Um, I don't get it. Maybe maybe it was because I was playing on a big screen TV or um and I wasn't playing on a monitor. But if I got the first shots in, that cunt should have been dead. <coughs> I'm swearing off. And guys, I'm not hating because it's all jumping around shit and all that. I actually like Black Ops 3, but this is just a shitter version of Black Ops 3. It's gone into space now. It's doing all this fucking bullshit. This isn't fucking Star Wars. This isn't fucking... Oh. I actually didn't mind Black Ops 3. I didn't mind the map, so I didn't mind all that shit. But... Um... I could, I could, I could put up with Black Ops 3, I could say, I'll say that, I could put up with Black Ops 3, I didn't, I'm still playing it now, and I, I haven't really given up on it, but this jumping around shit, is just, it's done, like, it's done, like, no one likes it, everyone's over it, everyone's, like, wanting old style Call of Duty to come back, everyone hated the Infinite Warfare trailer for a reason, it's just getting so stupid now in space, with all these futuristic guns, and all that, and it's just fucking bullshit, and, um, and the kill streaks, man, the kill streaks got worse, the RC, whatever the fuck, it's like this little plane, and that thing, um, don't, don't put that down as your kill streak, I used to love having the RC as my first kill streak, right, and the UAV is my first kill streak, and then I'd go for a bit of a higher kill streak, like a Wraith or something, you know, like, I'd, I'd have two small ones, and then a real high one. Um, so even if I died going for the hard one, um, at least I got the lower, the lower kill streaks. Um, but this RC man, it doesn't work good at all. It's actually really bad, guys. Like even the older Call of Duty's had better RCs. Like play Black Ops One, the RC in that game was a lot better. The RC in this one is real shit, guys. Man, I think. Um, Call of Duty thinks it's getting better because we're adding so much more shit, but really it's just getting more complicated now. It's just getting really annoying to play. And just their ideas are really shit now. They're just fucking idiots. Um, what was I going to say as well, though? I played Battlefield 1, and that game was fucking amazing, guys. Battlefield 1's putting Infinite Warfare to shame. I'm only going to play Infinite Warfare to play the campaign mode for Conor McGregor, but this is what they did here. They sold it in a pack with Modern Warfare because after the trailer got so many dislikes, they knew no one's going to buy that piece of shit. So they fucking used their old classic Modern Warfare. And they probably were planning on selling that separately. But they put it in a package, a deluxe edition, because they knew no one's going to buy that piece of shit. They're fucking smart. Everyone's going to pay the extra like 30 bucks to get Modern Warfare. But man, that's fucking bullshit, man. That, Call of Duty, man, I'm so angry with them. And I sweat a lot in this video because I'm just not happy. I'm just not happy with their bullshit. Um, uh, I hope you guys didn't mind this video anyway. Um, I, just, I had to let out my frustration, but the game is fucking idiotic. Um, if you like the game, good for you, but I couldn't stand it. I couldn't fucking like it at all. And now I'm, I'm not making any sense. Because I just like when you're angry, I can't say my words like in a good sentence or whatever the fuck I'm trying to. <sighs> okay, I'm going now. Um, they were smart though. They put that shit in a pack. They put that little shit in a pack with a piece of gold, which is modern warfare. Modern warfare is the gold, and infinite warfare is the um, is the bucket of the blah, the bucket of shit. I mean. I'm not even saying my words right now. I'm going to stop now, guys. I'll, I'll let out all my anger, and this video's gone for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes of rage. I've got it off my chest. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.